friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is Cheyenne, otherwise known as Cozy Shy, and today I am going to be showing you guys how I do simple panel builds with the essential items that I typically use for my perspective simple panel buildings. So what we have here lined out for what I typically use, I forgot to put out some simple panels, but obviously like I'm gonna be using those in this video, but I have like stalls, a um, antique wardrobe, a wedding pipe organs, a bookshelves, iron bars, this telephone booth, the antique uh, clock, these three fencing options, record boxes, street lamps, and just some accessory items too. So these are typically what I use to create my simple panel buildings. So hopefully you guys can get some inspiration and some good tips and tricks for the builds I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing three separate builds um, using a mixture of these items so you can get some variety and different options how to make the buildings different and distinct from each other but still look like a building when these items are combined. So let's get into the first build. Okay, so first things first, I am just laying down some pathing just to mimic the road that you would see these simple buildings on. This isn't going to be a permanent build, of course, because this is just for the sake of demonstrating how I create simple panel buildings. So I just wanted to create just a little base foundation for the little guide itself so you can kind of see a better look of how the buildings will appear with the simple panels and all those items put together. So to begin, I am just putting down some wedding pipe organs because I want to create a good perspective of the building. I want this one to have a little bit more height to it, so I'm putting two of these together and then I will layer that with some antique wardrobes on top, which then, after the antique wardrobes, I will be customizing some record boxes to mimic windows of the building itself. So I already pre-customized these to the building pattern that I wanted to do for this specific simple panel build. So then, of course, I follow along with putting my simple panels. I like to alternate doing the brick and then having the windows on the inside, brick on the outside, because I, it doesn't make sense for the building to have windows flush with the side of it. So I always put the window panels on the inside surrounded by the brick on the outside. So now I'm adding some more panels to the left and the right to extend the building so it's just not flat and harsh. And then I layer it with the uh, antique clock just to add some more height again to mimic it to look like a building. Now I am just creating an um like just putting the street lamps just to add some more dimension to it, some more color and then putting the like accessory items like the table and the chairs just you know to make it look more cozy and put together like some people actually live at this building and then i surround the area with some fencing i'm playing around with the different options you'll see like for the next build how i can use the other fencing as well for this one i'm only using the spooky fencing i kind of make it look like it's an entrance but this is the first little simple panel build, so as you can see, it came together quite easily. It's really not that difficult to do once you get the hang of it, but again, you know, just start with the foundation, create the height first, and then you can start adding in the simple panels, the record boxes, and then add some accessory items. You could add some plants if you wanted to, maybe a mountain bike, some trees, and you're done! So I hope you guys enjoyed the first simple panel build and we can get on to the second simple panel build. Alright, so now we're moving on to the second simple panel build, but first look at Lopez literally serving looks, striking poses like the smug boy that he is. I literally couldn't even believe my eyes when this happened. <laughs> I was like, what is this? So of course I had to record it and save it and document it. Anyways, so yeah, we're moving on to the second build. I'm using different items for this simple panel build. I decided to go with bookcases instead with the iron bars just to show different ways they can, you know, create different buildings using these items. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start placing the bookshelves and the iron 
bars to create height again just to, you know we're trying to make like a forced perspective trying to make it look like a building so I'm using different height items to you know create that perspective And of course I turned the bookshelves and the wedding pipe organs from before, I turned them around because you don't want to see the front side because that will ruin the perspective of a building so that's why I've been placing them backwards so that you don't see like the books or the organ itself for the wedding pipe organ and you just see the back side because that is just kind of like a plain palette to work with so you can make the buildings that way. So now I'm getting some stalls. I'm putting these things down to kind of like create the building. So I'm, well, first I have to put the panels first. Again, I'm putting the windows on the inside and then the bricks on the sides. I decided that I wanted to do bricks on the right side because I was going to put a stall there. So I, of course, had to like, you know, put that there so it has like a backdrop. Instead of just the brown, I needed to put the brick. And then I'm trying to layer some um, like simple panels on the side and I put the telephone booth on the left so that the windows didn't look weird being super flush to the side. So that's the purpose of me putting that there. And then I put some cutout standees to mimic doors, like that's like a second building next to my main building. Um, like somebody lives next door. Of course, I put the record boxes on top to mimic the building on that side So these are kind of like two buildings put together Then I just put a little bench there like somebody's waiting. It's like a little waiting area outside of the homes So I thought that would be cute and I put a tree like I mentioned earlier You can use trees to kind of like make the area feel more cozy and more Cohesive so I do really like incorporating trees in my builds and then of course using the fencing to surround the area I decided to alternate between the hedge and the ironwood or the iron whatever you call it the iron fencing <laughs> anyway so this is the second simple panel build it's a lot more simple um, I just realized I forgot to put something in the stall which I am adding right now just a little holiday candle you could put anything here you could even layer it with some more cutout standy doors to make it look like another entryway to another building but this is basically another way you can create simple panel buildings I think it's another cute way to do it instead of this time I incorporated the bookshelves with the iron bars and I put a tree to you know let's make it look more put together <laughs> and what you can do is like put this building with the first simple panel build simple panel building together to kind of look like it's a street so you can make a little street along with all these different types of builds so anyway so this is the second simple panel build so we will now move on to the third final simple panel build and I'll see you guys in that third one Okay, so we were now on to our third simple panel build. This one's going to be a little bit more complicated and compared to the first two because I am going to be adding a second layer incorporating a rooftop seating area. So you'll see how I go ahead and create those. I will be incorporating a mixture of all like the first two builds with this one because I will be using pretty much all of the items that I displayed from the start for this build. So I totally forgot to get into construction mode for this build so I have to go ahead and turn that on so I can start placing the items. So what I first do is create the area where I want to put the rooftop area so I'm just creating the cliff um, just kind of eyeballing it where I want to put it um, so I decided to make it I think like a three by four space but then later I realized you know I need to make this a little bit bigger so you'll see me expand it a bit more later on because I decided to add more items to create more dimension because again I think when using simple panels to make buildings the more dimension the better so it doesn't look like just a straight wall in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so of course I began by placing down my simple panels. I am just putting the bricks on either side with the windows because again I like to um, 
partition the windows with the brick panels. Then I decide to use the hedges to kind of frame the building itself and then I start placing down some random brick on top to make it look like the rooftop seating area like you would see maybe outside apartment buildings or even like rooftop bars or whatever you would you know see at a rooftop <laughs> so I just put the iron chair and table and then I put the little candle as well because I thought I like the festive candle I think it's a nice little touch for this island that I'm working on so now that I kind of got that based on I was like you know what I need to start adding some simple panels up here so I get back up I put some more brick down and then I'm gonna put some simple panels to make it look like an extension of the building so there's two stories so this is kind of like you know the rooftop balcony area and that is what I start doing there and then I start working on the front I decided I kind of wanted to cushion the area with some trees I kind of eyeballed where I wanted to put the trees to you know create more dimension and then I was like you know what I should kind of like extend the building to the right a little bit so I was deciding between the wedding pipe organ and I thought it was too tall so I went with the bookshelf and the iron bars instead because I just thought it was you know not as tall and like overbearing for this specific building so I layer that with some cutout standees and some fencing just to you know tick it in and then I'm trying to decide what fencing to use here so I decided to alternate with the spooky fencing and the iron fencing and then of course surrounding it with the street lamps to, you know because it is a building we want it to be well lit so <laughs> that's what I did there and then I didn't like how the simple panels looked like up here just standing alone so I decided to add some of the antique wardrobes to you know add more dimension more foundation to the building itself and then finally I'm going to be adding some wooden bookshelf to the left side to extend the building because I thought it looked a little bare so I thought I'll mimic the same thing I did on the right side but instead of the cutout standee I put a foam box instead so this is the final version of the third simple panel building of course you can always accessorize the remainder of this build with maybe you can put a bench in the center or some cypress trees or monstera trees you could put a mountain bike you know there's endless possibilities when making simple panel builds so i think that's something that you can definitely do on on your own islands and i would love to see what you guys create using this guide i hope it was helpful to you all i would love to see your photos of the builds that you guys do create if you happen to do so you can go ahead and tag me on my instagram or twitter or post it in my discord server everything will be linked below in the description box and if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more and hit that notification bell button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day morning or evening wherever you are in the world and i will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!